Hey guys, Game of Complete here, and welcome back to another Life is Strange. It's been a little while since I've last played this. Uh, from what I remember, on episode 3 now. Yes, uh, continue. Episode 3, and uh, we've saved Chloe quite a few in times the in the last two. Life is oh, okay, let's watch this. Film, little oh, and Kate about. died. She suicided. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step oh, back. Shit. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here. Yeah, we saved her life again. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Yeah, she died. We tried to save her, but it didn't work. What are you doing here, Max? Now I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. So we're going to go see what the eclipse is doing, I think. I don't know. We'll just have to see what this episode is going to be about. Now this episode's intro will play. Okay, can I move? No. Episode 3, The Chaos Fairy. Isn't that basically where every action has a reaction? I think that's basically all that is. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Okay, I let's still go. Still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. She didn't jump from her room, so why is it all closed off and shit? <coughs> oh, she's still up. Can you come in here for a minute? Ugh. Do I have to? What? What do you want? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Uh, you were nice? You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, 
there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Oh yeah, we got him expelled. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Have a nice time. I've got a message. I think that's what that symbol is. Uh, two off Chloe. Shall we've already seen that. Let's get rid of all these notifications. Oh. Uh, hey, Feminist will be exterminated. Watch out. Okay, he's pissed. That's this everything. Is, oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. In front of the main hall? Where's the main hall? This way? I know, I have a set of keys on me. Somewhere. Principal ah, Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Okay, hide in the bushes. Oh, okay, I broke it. I broke it. I didn't mean that. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. So he's over there. He's not going over here, is he? Oh no, so I did that for nothing then. Okay, and it's control to rewind or we're back to last. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Uh, Max. Yes, I know. Okay. Stop texting. I'm gonna do this through this door. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Look. Nothing here. Girl stuff, okay. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? Magazine, I don't care, let's go out the back. Nope, can't go out the back. <clears throat> who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I, I, I don't um I, I don't think he is. Nuts and bolts. Like my grandpa. Oh, great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Wait, he saw me? Sneak by when he's trying to open the door. Go, 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 go. Set of keys on me somewhere. Mm. Ah, fuck it. Ah, oh. oh, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but. God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I. I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. 
Okay. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Let's try again. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Somewhere. Ah, fuck it. Max the ninja strikes again. Yeah, I did it. Okay. The only thing is, how is she going to get back in without I'm seeing? Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? Oh shit, boy. I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Um, Chaos Theory? Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Um, kicking it? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what like to Scooby do. Like Scooby-Doo. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. All right, let's go. Partner in time. Insert groan here. <coughs> Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. She wants I'm the like D. I'm still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? 
Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Oh, shit. The conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit. When I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. So we're going to go talk to that guy? No. Okay. Victoria is what you call a complete snobby Crony bitch. You know it. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. <laughs> okay. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Come on. There we go. Come on, then. Oh, I have to speak to her. That's it. The fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Not like they'll keep the, the key in here, to be honest. Nothing here. You should find Victoria's file, see what day you can get on her. Dead end. <clears throat> Boring. More Crap. files. So that was a waste of time. Oh, these. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Okay. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Yeah, what about our plan? One sugar, one soda How can, put it together? duct tape. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, let's go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Science labs down here, if I remember correctly. Cro 
gross. I hate that formalin smell. So... Uh... Okay, we need this. Now pay attention, 007. Find objects, 007. Is this 007? Okay. So, all I need to do is use the vending machine. It's all mine anyway. Okay, now what? Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. So, Nada. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Okay. Cool. Go, go, go. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Steal and run. Seriously, what am I looking for? There's only one way around this. Oh, is that why she was waiting? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck you, door! Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Okay, just find what you're looking for and get the fuck out. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. Let's go for your student files. Uh, I'll please you find Steve in New York explosives and see incredible artwork. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oh, this is Kate's. Okay. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. And nothing here. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Shut the cabinets. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Uh. Okay. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. 
What says these are files? This asshole has a spotless record. Okay. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Oh, okay then. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. Ooh, what shit we're gonna find? Oh, okay, I broke it. Crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers <laughs> include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Eh, uh, should I? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Still leave. Leave. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know okay. that money would have helped Chloe and me. She pissed. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish okay, splash. sure. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. A good bad influence. That is 10 out of 10. As many screenshots as possible for the thumbnails. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Come on. Boys or girls? <laughs> uh Boys? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. 
<laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Jacket. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. What am I meant to be doing? Oh, going through here. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. <laughs> okay. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. <laughs> so do I. Hit that light. I'm guessing the light will be over here somewhere in the lifeguard thing. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Okay, they're definitely gonna get caught. All that light is just definitely gonna get caught. Talk to her? Nope. Is that all? Or do you want the other lights on? I I don't I don't know. Time to do or dive, Max. Wait what? We're meant to get changed. I guess I should consider this evolution. What meant what meant to do? Changed in the toilet. Max is a feminazi. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Oh, you meant to wait for Chloe to speak to her. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. It's fine they've not got caught yet. Cowbunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. So if you can hear that in the background. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girl. Oh shit, boy. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Uh, thanks to you? Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Yep. Totally. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Uh... Warren is... nice? Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But... I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. 
Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. This is where they get caught, right? I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Run, bitch, run. That's the exit. Run. As fast as you can. We have to go now. Are you shitting me? Is it the police? No, it's security. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids! I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hiding spot? Oh shit, boy. No one's here. Please go away. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't. <sighs> Where are they? Hello? I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Come on. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Yes. Yes. Yes you do. Gone. Oh shit. Am I just meant to wait here? Are we safe now? You're so invisible. Let's bail. Okay, so that's all I need to do. Easy. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. 
Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Yeah, into the car. Get in. Okay. So awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. A half painted house. Great. So it seems like this episode is just a relaxing episode, kind of. There's not as much going on. So I'd assume in the next episode, next two episodes, there'll be quite a bit going on. Not completely sure, but you know, it is what it is. Why would you take a selfie? Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. I think we have to walk. Let's get back to uh, Blackwell. <coughs> okay, I need to get dressed now. Yeah, these are clothes. No, I thought they were clothes. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Okay, this is gonna fall. Okay, time for oh, some no, Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Um... Sure. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. 
Was that wrong choice? I I that don't know. I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? All right, then. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Uh, my daughter. Okay, uh, you show a true grace. You want to that roof with her? Loving your hands or. So, wait, this is Kate's father or parents? Thank you so much for actually my daughter. Okay, you show a true grace from Bravery when you went up there to, to that roof with her. Uh, you must, uh, you must know you did all that was possible, and Kate's life was never in your hands, or even hers at that point. Kate has left, uh, left us for another world, but she'll always be with us, and I know she will want you to have, a, eh? want she, uh, you to have a long, uh, dramatic, blessed dynamic, not dramatic, dynamic, blessed life. Uh, our family will forever include you in our prayers, peace and joy, Rachel. Richard Marsh. Okay. We got one from Warren. Uh, incredible artwork. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the, dri the driving is actually popular. I'm buying the ticket ticks now. Uh, I'll let you take out the popcorn. In other words, you can't back on now. It's like when we were kids here. That's the bathroom. <clears throat> Let's go get some food. Hello. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Um, pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Okay. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Okay, the eggs and milk should be in that fridge. Oh, they're in here. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Okay. Where the milk? Here. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Um. Rachel in trouble? I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> no. What? 
No way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Okay. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you. I'll come again. I'm never leaving this table. Good. You can clean. <laughs> okay. Sure. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Um. Okay. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Is there anything else <clears throat> I'm meant to be doing? No. Oh, I'm just meant to wait for her. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Oh, here she is. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody oh. else does. Okay, Chloe started that. That was completely Chloe's fault. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Family? Worst hacker ever. Um, cupboard. Nothing to see here. 
Bayer's password is like Blackwell or something. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Chloe can't get another gun now. Oh, unless she... she steals it back from Frank. It doesn't look like it's got glass on. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Let's get a bunch of options before we go back. I could try the license number for the password. Let's try those passwords. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, then. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Oh yeah, I can rewind time. <laughs> I forgot. Nope. No way, Max. You totally forgot. Oh. I'm gonna look at it again for it to. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Family? 7th, 2007. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. Hold up top. Come on. Try again. No way to pop. What else could it be the password then? David has been dragging this head around since 2001. Unless that's what it is. Such wrong. No means so stop. I don't see what else it could be. To search this? Yeah. <clears throat> or Max the hacker starts I got it. again. Finally. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, oh he has wrong Max as well. <laughs> Online aliases Mad Max, Max Faxer, and No Angel. Uh, so where's my class schedule? Is that it? Next, read back. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Oh shit. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students 
taken over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. There we go. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Oh, Not shit. Now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? It's side side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Oh, shit. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Oh, Maybe you shit, should boy. calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, oh I thought shit. I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Um, we should speak to him. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family. Okay, enough. I go away then. I'm just going to leave casually. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Oh, come rewind. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Okay. Let's go. We're gonna go? No. Oh, I meant to re rewind or like. Oh, I meant to do the dishes. I don't know. Let's rewind and see what happens. Come on. Let's go talk to Joyce. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Okay. You know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Leave Max alone, David. Stop. Start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total. Uh, we're gonna side with Chloe. Fuck it. I don't know if it was the right thing. Let's skip all that shit. Right, I don't know what I'm meant to do. Let's go to Chloe. Let's see. Max, that gave me chills. Uh. And you better not rewind this one. Find what to do, just left click to leave the house. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, 
I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Okay, we're gonna go check the door then? Oh yeah, we are, in the back. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Flyers. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that this is so creepy. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Oh shit, he knows, boy. Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Okay, that was a waste of time. We do, I don't care about that. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from the uh, Okay, but well, you sorted out. But I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight dozen bullies for them, though. Freaking nerds. We got one more. Thanks, Bob. It's being intense here. Frank, I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Ha! <laughs> Get back. <laughs> okay, that was quite funny. Got to admit. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky oh, I shit. just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Um. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. 
Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay. Like. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Is there anything I can do to get him to give me the keys? What the fuck now? Mm, nothing. Didn't work. No reason to go now. Oh, okay, no reason to go now, okay. We'll chat later, Max. Oh, okay, I'm getting rejected by everyone. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Oh god, talk to Nathan. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Um... I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Um... We'll chat later, Max. What the fuck now? Uh, I'm not. Do I have to go talk to Nathan again or do I have to rewind? Holy shit, what do you want now? Uh. Kate. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Oh, shit, boy. Holy shit, what do you- Your father? Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father, or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole! Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Uh, okay. Holy shit. What? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Okay, douchebag. We'll chat later, Max. Seems like I'm getting somewhere now, finally. What the fuck? Uh, to save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. 
I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Snatch and run, boys. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Let's sit him back down and keep the keys. He brought. Now back to Chloe. Okay, that was easy enough. Well, took me a while. Are you shitting me? Get that. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw towards... Throw in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. The doggy. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay, find clues. Go, go, go. <clears throat> Knife, okay. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. It's, it's unlocked, it's not really. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Is Frank going to deal online now? Blowtorch, what's this? Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Let's have a look up here. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. Give me something to open the vents. A knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Use it to knife. My blade will open any portal. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Uh. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks gentle. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Okay. If you want to read that, just pause the video. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. 
I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Well, Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! I'm gonna get caught. Oh shit. No, oh, he didn't realize the dog was out. And Chloe is super pissed. Like Chloe, super pissed. You can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Uh, nobody's. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad. Okay. That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello. Uh, William. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Uh, you're still here? You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Okay. She's super pissed. And oh, we still don't have a photo of class. Damn it. Why not just use one of them that's on the wall? Or even that one. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening now? Okay, can she see the past? Is this a new thing? Uh, use AD keys. Uh, until you find the sweet, sweet spot. Use AD and left mouse button, right mouse button until you find the sweet spot. Is that right? The fuck? Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. 
I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Oh, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that Ooh, far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickles. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. Bread. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Um. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So I know I've seen those pictures before. How many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like man. I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. You're the real cook here. I am. When your mom is away. Look at the note. Joyce loves William so much. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Okay. Um. Do I help? I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. So we need to stop him dying? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Um. I have to stop William from taking his car today. <coughs> I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit. Where How do I stop him? That's his keys. I can restore your ride. College fund. Keys, please. Let's follow him until he finds his keys. Aha. No, no, no. Naughty. My keys. Oh, you're not going to let me take the keys? Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to so work these. Two Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Damn it, we have to watch through all of this again. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue. Um. Will that do it? I think so. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Okay. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Okay, did we change time? Oh. No, we didn't. Okay. Oh, we did. Okay, we did change time. So he's going to be out the picture now. Oh, 
Okay. So are we just completely changed everything or <clears throat> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends that are Hey guys, Gamer Complete here, and welcome back to another Life is Strange. It's been a little while since I've last played this. Uh, from what I remember, we're on episode 3 now. Yes, uh, continue. Episode 3, and uh, we've saved Chloe quite a few in times the in the last two. Life is oh, okay, let's watch this. Oh, and Kate died. She suicided. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step oh, back. Shit. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here. Yeah, we saved her life again. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Yeah, she died. We tried to save her, but it didn't work. What are you doing here, Max? Now I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. So we're going to go see what the eclipse is doing, I think. I don't know. We we'll just have to see what this episode is going to be about. Now this episode's intro will play. Okay, can I move? No. Episode 3, The Chaos Fairy. Isn't that basically where every action has a reaction? I think that's basically all that is. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Okay, let's go. I still go. can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... She didn't jump from her room, so why is it all closed off and shit? <coughs> oh, she's still up. Can you come in here for a minute? Ugh. Do I have to? What? What do you want? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Uh. 